What's going on everybody? This is PokeSoup and today I am going back to cover a service that I previously covered a couple months ago. It is called Pokemon Breaks. Now if you haven't seen that video, you might want to go check it out. It talks about uh, the service a little bit, but I am covering something a little bit different today. Now previously I talked about the pack art breaks and the pack battles, but today I'm going to be talking about the pick your type breaks. Now this is in preparation for uh, Guardians Rising coming out very soon. So if you're interested in getting a little bit of Guardians Rising and trying out this service, I definitely recommend checking out the links in the description. They stream live on Twitch every night. So essentially this is a service that opens packs for you. I know that is kind of weird for some people, but it is a very interesting community. So if you're interested in using this service, you would go to their website, which is PokemonBreaks.com. You would come over here to the Guardians Rising little tab here, either one of these. They have two streamers, so you just want to select which one you are, uh, your schedule lines up with better. They have alternating days. I will include their uh, weekend lineup for the, the, the weekend release of Guardians Rising down in the description. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Make sure you get the right person. So you would come down here, you would uh, select one of these breaks. Each one of these uh, represents a box that they will be opening on live stream. And you would scroll down to one that that would have uh, the, the typing that you would like to purchase available still, because some of them had certain slots left, so they may not have had the typing that you wanted. So you want to go find one that has the type you want. And you can select it here. And then you would just add it to your cart. So it's a normal checkout, uh, you know, website thing, but that's how you, uh, you know, buy into a box break. So this lets you select what kinds of cards, what type of cards that you want to get without having to buy the entire box. And it says right here, there are some like rules or, you know, uh, guidelines, just things for you to pay attention to. You would select the type of card that you want to receive from the box. Once all the types have been claimed, that box will be opened on live stream. You can find the YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch links uh, on the homepage. And you will receive all cards from the type that you claimed from that box. So this is an option. If you're not looking to buy an entire box, you're just looking for a certain kind of card. Now, if the box break has been filled, you would come up here. You can go to watch live and it will take you straight to Twitch. And this is where you will be able to watch the boxes be opened. And that's how the box breaks happen. They happen right here on Twitch. So that's all you have to do. You just have to sit here and watch the live stream, see what you get, and then they will mail them right to you. I know that this is not for everyone, but it is definitely an interesting experience. And even if you aren't sold on the idea, I recommend going and watching their live streams. They are pretty entertaining and you get to see people open packs live. That is that is something that not many PokeTubers do right now. They don't do live pack openings. So I do realize this is not a hard concept to visualize, but I do have a box here today that we are going to be cracking into. We have a Sun and Moon Booster box, and I'm gonna be cracking into it in the style of Pick Your Type. It's not really all that different. You just sort by type. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you found this informative. The links, all the information will be in the description. Woo! Okay, so we have a booster box to open here today in the style of pick your type. So it's really not very complicated, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> we're going to open this box and organize everything by type so that you can see just a really simple example of how this would work. So, where you don't really have to do the pack trick and all that, this is supposed to be a simple and quick opening. We're not going to bother with all of the commons and stuff. We're just going to see what goodies that we can get from here. So, hope you are going to oh, enjoy some codes and see what good pulls that we get from this box. Oh, that's a good pull. We have a fairy energy, potion, a trumbeak. Golbat, Gigalith Reverse, and a two cannon. So we would start 
dividing all the cards. And of course we would we would also divide these, but I'm just going to leave them to the side because they're just commons. But in the real in the box break that they do on the stream, you receive all cards from your type. So Metal Energy, Dartrix, a Pokeball, Granbull, Dragonite Reverse, and a Solgaleo GX Full Art. Okay, so we don't have Dragon, and we need a Metal. Let's put that in a sleeve. So, let's, uh, okay, maybe that's a little better view. So we are organizing by type as we go, which is probably gonna make this video long and boring and complicated, so I apologize. But, um, yeah, it's something new, dang it. Okay, we're going through the whole pack. Grubbin, a Zubat, a Torkoal, Rowlet, Fairy Energy, Pelipper, an Ultra Ball, Corsola, a Wishy Washy Reverse, and a Primarina. So we don't have a uh, water type stack yet, so there we go. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's try and not forget what we're doing. Woohoo! Okay, fighting energy, a Toracat. We have an energy switch, Trumbeak, Herdier, and a Dragonite Hollow. Okay, so let's put those there into their types. Fire type. We need to start that stack. Hopefully, this is a. Uh, interesting I really don't know <laughs> oh man I hope this this opening is going to be interesting for, for you guys but we'll just see dark type we need to start that We have a Psychic Energy, Spinda, Potion, Hypno, Litten, and a Primarina. Okay. So, this is really a good option if you're looking to only pick up certain uh, type cards for maybe like a deck, or if you're missing you know, uh, a certain evolution line in your set, you can take this option and that's all you'll get, you know? Oh, look at that, Professor Kukui, full art. So, that is going to go in the trainer stack. Of course, it's a trainer. So, I mean, that that's a good option. Like, if you wanted to only get the full art trainers from this set, you would just buy into the uh, the trainer lot, the trainer type lot. Um, it, it allows you to be very specific about the cards that you want to buy. Butterfree and a Cosmoem. I'm going to be skipping the comment, I mean the uncommon, uh, I'm not going to spend my time sorting everything, so let's try and just speed this up a little bit. My water energy, Corsola, energy retrieval, Steeny, a Team Skull Grunt, and a Butterfree. Four and two. We have another water energy in the Lolan Raticate, a wishy washy how lantern reverse. Wait, where's that go? We don't have an electric stack yet, and a beware. I'm running out of room. Oh, 
This would have been a great use for the overhead um, uh, mount for recording, but I don't have it set up for today. Polywhirl, Crushing Hammer, a Great Ball, and a Palo Sand. We have Metal Energy, a Pukamuku, Big Malasada, a Brion, a Big Malasada Reverse, and a Hariyama. Well, that's weird. Was I zoomed in? I'm a failure. Okay, Fighting Energy, Araquanid, a Spinda, a Lima, an Ultra Ball, Reverse, and a Golduck. So, wow, yeah, I must have been, uh, that was a big failure there. Had the camera zoomed in. My goodness. Okay, Fire Energy, a Energy Retrieval, a Krakorok, a Araquanid, Togedemaru, and a Masquerain. We have hit a dry spell, that's for sure. A Fire Energy, Grand Bull, Metapod, a Lily, an Eevee Reverse, and a Hariyama. So Eevee and Hariyama. Whoa. Hmm. And that is not what you want to do. Goodness gracious, Pokesuit. Okay. After that spill, we are back on track. Team Skull Grunt, a Metapod, Grand Bull, Golbat Reverse, Palisand. We need to break this uh, this bad streak. Okay, Metal Energy, a Repel, Pincer. Timer Ball, a Palo Sand Reverse, and a Ribombi Hollow Rare. Put those in their stacks and we'll keep going. Okay, having trouble here counting. A Great Ball, a Passimian, a Makuhita, and a Sharpedo. So we'll. Hopefully, I'm really hoping for a, I would seriously love to get an Ultra Ball, simply because I still have not pulled one, and that would make this box pretty epic. Double Colorless Energy, a Pukamuku, a Krakorok, Trumbeak, and a Masquerain. Fighting Energy, How, a Dartrix, a Pokeball, a Morlull, and a Crabominable. Three, four, and two. Really looking for some more shiny shine. Boldor, Ultra Ball, Pinsir, Bound Sweet, and a Lunala GX. More shiny shine right there. We have Electric Energy, an Araquanid, a Professor Kukui, a Golbat, a Young Goose Reverse, and an Incineroar. Four and two. Okay, a Water Energy, EXP Share, Raticate, Wishy Washy, a Lowland Persian, and a Parasect.
Come on, Ultra Rares, we need you to show up. We have a Fairy Energy, a Poison Barb, Charge Bug, Herdier, a Lolan Raticate Reverse, and another Lantern. Oh, just think about if you bought the trainer, uh, trainer lot or typing, um, and you got the Ultra Ball. That would be so good. That is like hitting the jackpot. There's also a lot of really nice looking full art trainers in here. Hey, grass type, grass, grass type, <laughs> grass energy, repel, Pelipper, a Pokeball, Poison, Barb, and a Bruxish. Three, four, and two. We have a Electric Energy, Potion, Hypno, Switch, Meowth Reverse, and Lunala GX Full Art. That is beautiful. Very nice. This this uh, psychic type lot in this box is doing very well with two ultras so far. And the the types are not priced equally. They are priced according to, you know, potential value so that you're not paying a lot for a slot in a set that has almost nothing. So they will be based on what is in the set. And that's good because you don't want to be paying the same um, for the, say, fairy type over here with only two cards you don't want to pay the same as the person who's getting the psychics because they're getting a lot there's a lot more options for that in this set so the prices are according to that and some some typings have so such little representation in a set that they will be grouped together with another type so they, they do uh, price things fairly and accordingly, so you don't have to worry. Pissimian, a Pokemon catcher, Golbat, Beware Reverse, and a Parasect. We have... Dark Energy, an EXP share, Spinda, a Lily, Metapod, and a Tauros GX. Okay. Very, very uh, off-center Tauros GX, which is not surprising at all. Just think about the trainer, uh, the trainer lot in Guardians Rising with all those aqua patches and whatever else is amazing in that set. I mean, there are a lot of trainers in Sun and Moon, so you would really be getting a decent number of cards. Hey, it's Shinoda Kala Rare. We're down to four packs. Metal Energy, Poliwhirl, Brion, Timer Ball, a Masquerain, and a Decidueye. Both grass types. We have a Grass Energy, Steeny, Poliwhirl, Nest Ball, a Poliwrath, and a Lurantis GX. So it is looking like multiple types are getting ultra rares if this were to be a, uh, a break. 
And that's good, see? We're getting some distribution, multiple people are getting uh, good cards for their money. We have a Psychic, a Brione, Crocorock, Pelipper, a Snubble, and a Muck. Although Psychic is really coming out on top here. This is the last pack. We have a Dark Hypno, a Big Malasada, a Steeny, Golduck Reverse, and a Golduck. Two Golduck, one pack. Okay, so as you can see, the typings are sorted, and these are, you know, it's essentially, you would get all the Psychic, you would get all the Metal, you would get all the Fighting, and plus, all of the bulk would be sorted as well and you would get all of the typing that you bought. So I know some of you have done this before, but if you haven't, I recommend you go check it out. It's a very fun experience and pretty interesting if you're just looking for a few cards. No sense in buying a whole box if you're only looking for one thing. So hopefully my crazy explanation of this process and this service has, has been helpful. <laughs> I apologize for anything I was unclear about. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Myself or one of the pack break streamers will be here to answer some questions. So even if you're not going to buy into one of the breaks, I definitely recommend you check out their Twitch stream the weekend of Guardians Rising release, May 5th. There will be a ton of boxes being opened, and I know you all like seeing boxes opened. Please leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. This has been Pokey Soup. I'll see you guys later.